Well, Dr. Scott, we know that we tell our clients, we tell our students, customize your resume when you're applying for a job, even if it's a similar job. But again, you need to customize, maybe change the wording, maybe change the, some of the accomplishments or the, the, the sequence of what you've done. So in that sense, what tips you have for job seeker, international students especially, that they can do in their resumes? Well, you want to find out your why mm -hmm. in terms of why is somebody looking to fill this position? Yeah. So you always have to take it from the other perspective of the employer's perspective of, okay, why would they hire you? Mm. Rather than saying, I'm great, I've done these things, I've done, yeah. I've accomplished all this cool stuff. That That's nice. But yeah. That doesn't solve the, the employer's challenge. What keeps them up at night? Why are they hiring you to do a job? And what kind of job is that going to be? Yeah. So you need to do your due diligence. You need to do your homework. You need mm -hmm. to do your background check and say, okay, here's a job description. Let's take it one step further. Go, now, how do I fit this job description? All right. Now, I, now I'm seeing where I fit in. What are my accomplishments that are going to fit those job description and their needs and their pain points? I, I mean, we're in sales. Every mm -hmm. one of us. I mean, I, I'm, I'm an academic. In the classroom, I'm in sales. I'm telling telling my students why they need to do well in my course, and they're trying to convince me why they should get an A. Yeah. For my entrepreneurial ventures, that's one step further. I'm talking to my clients, and I'm telling them, or I'm asking, actually, I start by asking, asking them what their needs are, and then I see try to ways to fill that. So your resume is trying to fill those needs. That we get we, the, the byline is you need to be you need to quantify your accomplishments. Yes. Yes. But ChatGPT isn't going to know your quantity of your quantifiable accomplishments or, or the actual quantities that you've accomplished. It'll give you some ideas, but then you can go in and say, all right, I, I, I have a good idea of what this is, but here's what I did. You know, 30% increase, this kind of retention, this kind of enhancement, uh, manage this number of team members, and we grew to a level of ABC. So those are things that you will know but you can actually use tools like ChatGPT and GPT-4 to prompt and ask those questions of what kind of things would someone be looking for in this kind of position. Yeah. You can also take a job description, post it and say, what are the five most important elements that Our I should skills. be looking at or examining? Yeah. What are the transferable skills? What are some things? Again, how you prompt, how you ask the question is crucial to how you get results. If you say, I'm looking for a job in high tech, uh, what are some ideas? You're not going to get a very detailed or an, an answer that's going to really help you penetrate and find a job. The same way we're customizing every resume to every job. Yeah, and and there are a lot of, I don't remember now the web, uh, the software, but I believe that there's a software that you can upload your resume, upload your the job description, and it will tell you how much percentage you are similar or get will get so that when you're applying, you are passing the applicant tracking system. Exactly. And yeah, what, what are the keywords I need to be aware yes. of? Yes. Those are the kind of things you need to in, in, insert in your LinkedIn profile as well as your resume. Yeah. Those are the things that are going to be honed in on. Those are great tips, Doctor. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Dr. Scott.